you, you don't trust government. Therefore, so you now look after yourself. So you are planning to give you security. Because I'm facing what for my property. Nobody is planning anything. So that's exactly you, what you, you are, We have left you to look after your own thank security. You, thank you. Okay? Look after your own security. Go and look after your own police. Thank you, you are fighting hard. Thank you for being honest that you are planning to kill me because I've actually objected. I've never said I'm planning to kill you. Why should I kill you? Well, I'm not you are very stupid you. man. Not you cannot have said that you thank you. Thank you for what? When former Toro Kingdom Prime Minister Stephen Irumba tabled this phone recording in the Commission of Inquiry into Land Matters, Commission Chairperson Justin Catherine Bamgamirire ordered for issuance of summons to Minister of Disaster Preparedness Hiraronek to explain why he was undermining his powers by intimidating a witness. Onek has now appeared before the Commission to defend himself. He says Irumba labeled him a killer. No, the person who attacked me that you are a killer. I said, why? Why did you remove the police? He said, no, you are a killer. You're a killer. When he consistent, then I said, you must be out of your mind. You are stupid. I responded like that because I was angered. I said, why should this man call me a killer? The people. Why does he attack me in that manner? And that one, I thought he was must be stupid. He must be silly. Irumba chose the office of the Prime Minister of grabbing over 200 acres of his land to resettle Ugandans who were expelled from Tanzania. He also tabled the pictures of his animals that were hacked and killed as he was evicted from the disputed land in Kiakatu in Kegegwa district. Oneke claimed that the media houses unfairly delayed his conversation with Ilumba. When the media, particularly NTV, brought a recording of my conversation with Mr. Irumba, mm. which was heavily doctored, and the vital facts of our conversation with him, particularly at the beginning, were not fairly reflected. I, I became very upset about it. But the Commission's lead counsel, Ebert Vientia, took on the minister, demanding for an explanation why he paid the adverts in newspapers, watering down investigations by the Commission, instead of appearing to defend himself. I'm wondering what is the purpose of this media campaign? Is it to intimidate the commission? No, my lord. When a rumba reported and uttered recordings here at the commission, mm. recordings which were really skewed and doctored mm. to portray me as somebody who harasses a witness, which would have only talked to the commission, the Mitch commission never kept all those interactions confidential. Instead, we see a flurry of government paid for adverts. Yes. The Commission has not shielded us from attack from the press. Mm. The Commission has not protected us. I presume that I haven't read all the media, but I presume that they report what they have witnessed. Because I was hurt by the lies being peddled in the press. And after Biencha poked holes into the procedures used to acquire the disputed land, Minister Onek considered saying he was misled by technocrats. These technocrats. And um, those are really weaknesses which are there. I will let the Prime Minister know the challenges facing us. Jingo Francis, NTV.